Hello friends, we all know about the DNA that is the deoxyribonucleic acid, a polymer of nucleotide. But today we shall be discussing a little bit a deeper concept that in DNA, conformation of nucleotide affected by the rotation of seven bonds. We shall understand this statement today with the concept of sugar puckering. It is something very close to the concept of chemistry. So what they are seeing, the entire DNA molecule where there is a hydrogen bond between two nitrogen bases, the rotation, like whenever you have a polymeric unit, the monomer, that is the nucleotide, now each and every monomer, there is a one pentose sugar, that is the 5C. So along with pentose sugar, along with nitrogen base and with phosphate group, how many possible rotations are there? That is what they are asking today. So they are saying there are total seven bonds that can be rotated freely. There are some bonds like strong sigma bond. There is a no chance of rotation and there is a steric hindrance where the possibility of having a rotation is reduced. So we'll move uh, step by step. We know the pentose sugar look like this structure. At the same time, you have a boat and chair form for the glucose, but that is a hexo sugar. But here we are discussing about the pentose structure. So you have a pentose sugar at the top, you have oxygen and you have a phosphate group over here. One prime anomeric carbon, two, three, four and five prime. This point, there is also a carbon. So you have a phosphate group, pentose sugar and nitrogen base. These are the three basic fundamental unit of a nucleotide. If you remove this P, you will get the nucleoside as you all know. And you also know that this one, this bond that is connecting the pentose sugar with any nitrogen base, either it is a purine or pyrimidine. As you know, purine comprises adenine and guanine. Pyrimidine comprises thymine and cytosine. Wherein the RNA, this T is replaced by uracil in RNA. Correct. Now, this is the beta glycosidic link. It is the beta glycosidic link because the it is it is above the plane. So, if it is above the plane, we call them as a beta configuration. If it is below the plane, we call them as alpha configuration. Now, we redraw this pentose sugar in this boat-like form, where this 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 point is the five carbon. This is your first. This is your second. Or uh, let me draw it in details. In this way. This is first, this is second, this is third, like this. So first, second, third, fourth and five. Now you can see this pentose sugar is not planar. It is non-planar. Means it is not in the plane, in the same plane. So we call it as a pucker DNA. We call it as a pucker. Or we call it as a sugar puckering. What is the meaning of puckering? If I fold my eyebrows like this, you can see like this, there are some part is going out. This is called a, a wrinkle is coming. This is called puckering. She or he is making a pucker in between his or her eyebrows. So puckering means the sugars are all the atoms are not in plane. So all the atoms are not in plane. You can see three, three prime, this three prime. We use the word prime to distinguish the carbons from this pentose sugar and this nitrogen base. So we use the prime symbol for each and every case. Prime means it is in the pentose sugar. If no prime is there, that means it is in the nitrogen base. As simple as this. So three prime puckering means the three prime carbon is going above the plane. So this one, you can see this one here, one, two and four. This is in the same plane. This is in the same plane. If I try to draw in this way and 3 prime is going upward in the same way. So this is called 3 prime endopuckering. The same way you can go like this way. 2 prime end is going above the plane. So 3 atoms are in same plane 1, 2 and 3. 2 prime is going up. So it is called 2 prime endopuckering. This form of the pentose sugar is called envelope form or you pronounce envelope, whatever, so envelope form. In case of twisted form, as we know, there are two forms in terms of sugar puckering, either this pentose sugar in the, in the form of envelope or envelope, or it is in the form of 
twisted. Twisted means what happens? It is the first carbon, the second carbon, third carbon, fourth one, second, third. So it is going inside endo. So it is three prime endo puckering and two prime exo puckering. So endo exo combination is called twisted form. In the same way, you can move it out. So you can draw in this way. 2 prime endo puckering and 3 prime exo puckering. So you can see here endo exo configuration. So in this way there could be 4 possible rotation. I want to answer this question. 4 possible rotation that you can see in case of a pentose sugar. What are these? 3 prime endo puckering, 2 prime endo puckering envelope, 3 prime endo 2 prime exo and 2 prime endo and 3 prime exo. So these are the four possible configuration. So you got, there is a one possible rotation in the phosphate group, four possible rotation in the pentose sugar and in case of a nitrogen base, there are two different configuration uh, in, in deeper chemistry. You know these things very simple, but in case of, uh, uh, you can see the nitrogen bases, there are two configuration. Either this nitrogen base, this one is rotating this is a glycosidic bond and rotating in this direction. So if it is moving outside, we call them anti-configuration. If it is inside, we call them as a scene configuration. So as you can see here, there is an oxygen. This is a small molecule. That means it is your pyrimidine base. So there will be a repulsion between oxygen. So it will automatically rotate outward. So it is your anti-configuration. In the same way, you can have a molecule in this direction where it can easily move inside without, without any interference. So it is called same configuration, correct? So if it is going inside same configuration or outside anti, that means there are two possible rotation that is possible. Pyrimidine speci uh, specifically prefer this anti configuration due to the steady hindrance. All the molecules are looking for a stability and least amount of repulsion and uh, to lose like they, they want to gain a thermal stability and uh, in terms of energy. Higher the energy state, they are less stable. So if you want to increase the stability, you have to reduce the energy state. So what is the possible to rotation? Anti and sin that is two. That means you have one plus four plus two. Correct? So it is equals to seven. That means seven possible rotations are there in the DNA molecule depending on the different cases, your temperature, pH uh, to make uh, sure that it is well stable. I hope it will help you to understand the different rotations and to know more you just cross check the description and I think you have now a clear idea of sugar puckering and uh, you share with your friends so that you can understand these things and uh, discuss these things in a better, uh, clear way. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned.